Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I do readings for Pisces. And today is February 21st, which also coincides with somebody's birthday. Yep, it is my birthday. This is this Pisces birthday today. I'm very near the cusp of Aquarius and um... I like my birthday. I like the day. I like the 21. I like the 21st. It's exactly seven days after Valentine's Day. So the week before is Valentine's Day and the week after is my birthday. And yes, I take full advantage of that fact that I am in the month of love. And I'm also, um, yeah, it's, it's the month of love and I'm a love baby. So there you go. Um, I brought up my favorite things. Um, my little, what what did, I asked for a name and somebody said Cotton Candy Piggy, I think, <laughs> which I think is cool. Um, so he's wonderful. He brings me a lot of joy. Um, so I brought him out so that it could uh, make me smile. Of course, the uh, word of love, which is actually an eraser that I got years and years ago. And I just kept it because it's just beautiful. I'm going to leave it here love. And uh, I'm going to read to you like I did yesterday of the Luminous Humanus. Uh, this is a book that's available. I'll leave the link on Amazon. It's an affiliate link so it helps this channel. I get a little something if you if you do buy it or anything actually. So um, yeah. Um, I'm going to take out the 21st of February here. And we're going to take a look at it. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> and I'm going to read to you because it's my birthday. And I want to see what it says. And it's written, I see you. Isn't that wonderful? I feel I feel like I've already been told by the universe that they see me. I see you. Isn't that wonderful to be seen? Isn't it what we all want? To be truly seen by another. The ability to deeply recognize and get what's alive in someone we love may be the greatest gift we can give and receive. Being seen is essential to life. If we've gone a long stretch without being deeply received, validated, or understood by ourselves or another, in extreme cases some of us kick up a commotion and end up in a state of, or situation of I see you, <laughs> I see you, where you require intensive care in order to be seen. Take time today to acknowledge the precious being in the mirror and those standing in front of you. The affirmation is, I joyously give recognition to my loved ones from the overflow of my whole fully witnessed self. Well, I have to tell you, Pisces, for today, I feel very seen. I feel very seen by my beautiful subscribers. You have been with me a long time and you support me. Um, the channel has been doing a lot better since you guys have been commenting, liking, and I, I'm suspecting sharing because I've gotten a little more, and that's, you know, a little more knowing that you took the time to to be here is such a wonderful thing. So again, this is a wonderful book. I'm going to leave it. it. You can, it's got every date of the year and you're not obligated to read on the day you can just open up the book and read a day wherever you're at and if you miss a day that's not a problem because next year if you do it again you'll probably pick up on the days that you missed so it's nice to have around whenever you feel like a boost and I'm going to be promoting all the things that I feel give a boost. For this week, I'm going to be reading from this, I think till the end of the month, so if you're interested. And then I'm gonna share other things that I love with you. Things that are gonna uplift and empower you because I want you to be your very best self. I want you to have all the tools that if you're not already in a great state of mind, you can get yourself there easily. We're gonna look at the reading for today. It's Be Present and Temperance, which I love because it's got the word present in it. Isn't it wonderful? It's kind of all works out that way. I don't really think in terms of that, but then it's this is how uh, spirit works for you. It has a message for you and for me. Your full presence is the greatest gift you can give yourself and others. Life is happening right now in this moment. Today is the only day that matters. Anchor yourself in the now and give it your all. Notice the details and drinking the sweetness be present. And I am Pisces and I hope that you are too. We're going to look at temperance later on and this card of temperance is 
so yummy because there's like water going into the fire to bring in that stability in between. I love the depiction on this card. But we're going to look at that later. So for now we're going to, uh, I'm going to use the... Mm -hmm. This is the Cosmic Journey Oracle. Deliver your greatest gift to the world. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like all a, it's like a, I feel like it's, this is a cheerleading session. Maybe it's because it's my birthday and I'm feeling it. But I, I feel like there's a cheerleading section going on. A 10, a uh, wheel of fortune, a 10, a 10 of cups. Um, gratitude, happiness. And it's funny because I was thinking I was going to bring my rose colored glasses and the only ones I have here are these darker ones. Okay, but I was going to bring them in, and there they are. <laughs> there you go, Pisces. They managed to show up regardless. Um, this is special, okay? This is... Your greatest gift right now is being yourself. We're dealing with the Pisces energy, and you can bring on beauty, imaginings, fantasy, love, all of these things into your own life. You can... Put it in your body, in your mind. You can breathe it. You can uh, exude that energy outward. Now, I want you to bring it in for yourself. I want you not to just be somebody who's thinking about it and keeping it to yourself. I want you to write it down on paper. And I'm going to say this a lot this week. I want you to take a journal and I want you to write down what you bring back from those sessions of feeling wonderful, of being in the present moment, of of living the beautiful energy that you're spreading. I want you to do that for yourself, okay? I'm using the Manic, was it Manic Mondays? What is this one called? Magic Monday? I know it's Monday. <laughs> uh, Mystic. I should have known this. Mystic Monday Tarot. Okay. So I'm going to take the Cosmic Journey book out so that we can look at this one. Let's pull some cards. Oh, the first one out. The Princess of Wands, the beautiful magic. That Seven of Cups is coming out again. It's wanting to tell you you have your options here. Oh, another one came out. Ooh, they're just like all coming out. Queen of Swords. All right. And the Fool. Look at this lineup right here. Put the love right here. Look at this lineup, Pisces. The Fool. The Queen of Swords. Okay. So, you have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Doesn't really matter, though. It's good. And the Five of Pentacles. Let's see here. The Magician. Yeah. I'm going to pull out the Temperance card. Look, it came out again. Isn't that great? And there's that Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The Princess of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces. Let's take a good look at all of this. This is so excellent. It's, it's exquisite. Always exquisite for me to uh, work with these. They always bring in such light. Deliver your greatest gift to the world. Go ahead. The world is ready for you. The real you. The true and authentic you. That you've been hiding somewhere because someone once told you it's not okay to be fully seen. Oh my God, I see you fully seen. You guys, I'm getting all kinds of chills. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it when they do this. Oh, I, I, that's amazing. See, to be fully seen. I just, I, I have to show you 
because my mind gets blown. I, I have a hard time believing it myself sometimes. I still get all like magicked out. You know, when somebody does a magic trick that you just can't believe. I feel that this is that kind of magic for me. Your brilliance and luminosity. Oh. Luminous, humanness. I, I can't. I can't. I can't today. <laughs> oh, okay. Luminosity. Don't diminish the light of anyone else. Your brilliance and luminosity does not dim diminish the light of anyone else. It only gives others permission to come forward fully to. Life simply wants more life. Your role to be is to become the fullest expression of the life you've been blessed with in your playful purpose here now. Be present right now. Be present in the now. There we go. And I'm reading this card, Pisces. And we're talking about be present in the now. Life is happening right now. <laughs> I can't. Okay. So. That's, 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 that's that. That's that. We're going to go somewhere else here. Because I'm just going to sit here and be completely amazed by everything. In just that small amount. But you know, that's it. That's that's part of it. When you're grateful for the messages that come in so clearly. So clearly with using the exact same language. Of, of showing you everything that you need to see Pisces. Okay? When you are energetically high. You will see all the messages will come in. Really crystal, crystal clear for you. You have the Princess of Wands, and that I f that Princess of Wands is that light. You have that fire coming in, those new ideas, the new situations, and that childlike, fun, playing energy that they were speaking about in here. You have so many options, but we like to close ourselves off. We don't like. We end up closing ourselves off. Why? Because we've been hurt before. The Queen of Swords is a wonderful queen, but she has experienced a lot of loss, sorrow, and she ends up using that sometimes for protection. She likes to cut through the truth of things, but sometimes it can get in the way. Because too much experience in life makes you, I feel jaded a little by wanting to put a step forward a lot less than this beautiful page. But right now they're telling you it's time to be the page. It's time to shine your light. It's time to go in the new. See? New right here. Okay? So thank this beautiful Queen of Swords. I thank you. Thank you for keeping me safe. Thank you for letting me um, gain the wisdom and experience and the, your protection. Most of all, the protection of the Queen. Absolutely. But it's time for you to play. It's time for you to to believe in yourself. You have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. In this case, doesn't really much matter. Okay? I feel that the triangle is pointing to you like it's pointing to me. This is your time. The teamwork comes from your guides to you. Okay? Like this. It's coming to you. Just like this clarity spread. It's pointing down to you. It's not time for you to hide away and feel alone and alienated. It's time for you to shine. It's time for you to pull out the magic. There you go. There's all the magic, Pisces. It's time for you to go, I know who I've been, and I know where I want to go. That's what I want to do. I know where I want to go. Alienation. Just feeling alone. It just keeps you away from the brilliant light of who you are. If you're ever alone with yourself, it's only to be in the present moment. It's only to bring in this light. That's all I want you to do with that. If you're ever there. Look, she's even looking. She's even looking in this direction. That's where I want you to go. Okay? Never to feel alone, but to be in the present moment. The temperance card coming in. Absolutely. It wants you to temper now that beautiful passion and put your emotion in it. Water and fire. It's right here. It's showing it. Okay? 
I told you this year you're going to be fire. I know fire goes in and out of our signs, but you're going to feel like fire. You're going to feel like you're getting propelled like rocket fuel into your emotions, into that energy. And I want you to embrace that. I want you to embrace that. I want you to handle it. Yes, I want you to handle it. I don't want you to be weeding out the bad. I want you to focus on the stuff that makes you go. We've been looking at the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is about what's working, what can I weed out. But in this case, I want you to feed the right plant. Not only feed it, pay attention to how it's blooming. What are your best blooms, Pisces? And then, I want you to replicate it. This beautiful um, Princess of Pentacles, she is coming in to show you what you can learn and what you can do with everything. It's time for you to do it, Pisces. It's time for you to utilize all of that. So, very important. If you're going to be alone, make sure it's to be in the present moment and not to keep yourself away from your true self. Make sure that you're shining brightly. Come out and shine. Show your beautiful self. All of the nutty, beautiful you that makes you, you. Or in Pisces season, it's time. Take this time to reinvent yourself to the person you're always meant to be. The one that you've hidden away in a closet for years. Okay? Get the guidance from spirit. Follow your heart. Follow your energy. Guide yourself. Focus on the you you're supposed to be. Bring it back into balance. And then build on it. This is a brand new journey for you, absolutely, and you have all the magic you need. All you need to do is to focus on the stuff that you want, not the stuff that you're trying to get rid of. You've done that work. And if you focus on the things that you want, a lot of the times the stuff that you don't want will fall away. Trust me. When your light shines brightly, the people who usually try to dim you down will fall away because they won't be attracted to the light. They usually are not. The time to deliver your greatest gift to the world. And be ultimately you. That's it. This is the uh, first reading for today. I'm going to come back and look at Temperance. It came in again, so we're going to look at it. I'm going to send you a lot of love, light, and blessings, my beautiful ones. Take good care of yourselves.